Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. All right, so we're back. I mean, I just interviewed, are you ready for this? The co-founder of Constant Contact. So make sure you go to alliances.com, that's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com to listen to some past interviews even including when I had the interview with the president and biographer of T. Rowe Price. So make sure you go to alliances.com, the only place where entrepreneurs align. Well, I'm super excited about our next hero. I've known him for many years. I highly respect him. And welcome to the show, co-founder of Caliber Crow, Chris Loeffler, who is the CEO and chairman also and they've been an Inc. 500 and 5,000 company for many years, which we're going to talk about too later on. So with that, Chris, let's get started. First of all, you have something new. And you. And by the way, too, he could be reached at CaliberPublicOffering.com. What's going on with this public offering? Well, I got to tell you, um, David, it's nice to be on a hero show with the hero of entrepreneurial heroes. Mr. David Kogan, I am amazed at some of the, the the guests you've been able to bring on the show, and feel incredibly fortunate to be able to be part of uh, of, of such a, a well established, well healed group of entrepreneurs. And I certainly enjoy listening to the interviews and being a part of being able to actually interview is always fun as well. So, thank you um, to the Alliances community, as David mentioned. We have a uh, online public offering out in the market, as many of you know, at caliberpublicoffering.com. First time in the history of our 12 years as a business where anybody, including non-accredited investors, can buy and, and invest with Caliber by buying our stock. It's an online offering at $2,000 minimum, and we're listed on Seedinvest, which is one of the largest online platforms for stock offerings in the country. Now, one of the things is, is, and you mentioned how many years, because there's always the hesitancy when a company is getting started and they're looking to raise funds and they want people to invest. So I just wanna do kind of a quick snapshot of when you were getting started and trying to get those investors, because we have many people who are startups also, is, is how in the world do you get people to trust you with yeah. them providing money to you. Well, if you think about our story, we started in late 2008. So that was after the financial crisis had happened and we were a bunch of 20 year olds. And so, you know, how do you get a, how do a bunch of 20 year olds with no track record get investors to trust them with millions of dollars. And in our first year in business, we raised over 18 million in private capital from individual investors. And it was literally at meetings at Starbucks and coffee shops and all of that. And, and we found the secret formula at that time was, was two things. One, being radically transparent with people. So we were investing real estate and we actually would put the properties in their name. We would have them pay the bills to the contractors because we knew that trust had been broken. And so how do you repair trust? Well, you, you kind of earn it over time. And two was performance. I think um, at that point in time, our average investor was generating well into double digit returns. They were quick, they were fast transactions. They got to dip their toe in the water and they got to build trust with us over time. And now many people invest with us and lock up funds for five and 10 years at a time. So it's it, you have to have a starting point. You have to recognize at the end of the day when you're new and you're, you're trying to grow a business, it's a lot easier to ask for small amounts and build trust along the way and show performance than it is to try and knock it out of the park. And that's what worked for us. Now, Chris, what are some of the things that Caliber invests in? So we are a private equity real estate investor. And what that means is we raise capital into private funds and we deploy those funds. We invest those funds into all different types of real estate. We do residential real estate, commercial real estate hospitality. Um, we buy development property and we build up the property or we buy existing property and we transform it through renovations. And so we've done deals all the way from self-storage and, you know, single family homes all the way up to a, right now our largest project is about a $450 million development, uh, mixed use development, where we're basically building a small city just north of Denver, Colorado. It includes uh, residential includes multifamily, medical office, hospitality, retail, industrial. I mean, we're building a school, fire station. 
you name it. Now, as the CEO and chairman and co-founder, you're into day-to-day -day operations and everything going on. You've got a number of employees. How in the world, Chris, do you manage all of that, plus managing all of the investors? Yeah, our biggest, um, I think my biggest challenge as an entrepreneur has been going from that shift where you're all in one room, everybody hears what everybody else is saying, you can kind of keep the culture really tight, everybody knows what's going on in the company to the point where we're at now, where, you know, I, my role is not necessarily to make all the decisions anymore. My role is to make decisions that are really, really important and to make sure that we have great, solid, strategic leaders in each area of our business. So Caliber now has an, a strategic leadership team, which includes someone like the head of sales, the head of marketing, the head of construction, the head of development, head of acquisitions, et cetera. And each one of these people and these leaders are highly experienced. They know what they're doing and they run their areas of the business. And so the transition from being an entrepreneurial business to a small business to now what we're moving our way into, which is sort of like an enterprise level business or mid-sized business is, um, is definitely been one of my biggest challenges as, as a business person to learn how to grow through that. And that's why we reveal the secrets here on the Alliance's Heroes radio show with me, David Kogan, your host. Make sure you go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N. CES.com, the only place where entrepreneurs align because we have with us Chris Loeffler, CEO, Chairman, and Co-Founder of Caliber Wealth Investment Company. He can be reached at CaliberPublicOffering.com. Now, Chris, not only once were you on the Inc. 500 5,000, not twice, not three, but six times. How do you make it to six times being on an Inc. 500 5,000? So there are less out of all the companies that ever hit the ink list, less than 3% ever reach it six times in a row. And we were part of that prestigious list, list, which actually includes some of the biggest and best companies that have ever been created in America. And as an exclusive today, I have to tell you that we are now seven times. Oh, congratulations. The list. So what's, that, the, what's the percent of seven? I mean, I don't know. They haven't sent us the letter yet. So I don't know what we're at now. It's got to be less than 3%. It's probably less than two. I don't know. We're, we're making it up there. So it's uh, very exciting. And what all this means is that through thick and thin, through every obstacle that every entrepreneur faces, and I guarantee you there is no entrepreneur that thinks that this is an easy thing to do, build a business. We've been able to continue to grow and continue to grow quickly because it's not that hard to, to show big year over year growth when you're small because the percentages, you know, it's like, oh, I had 100,000 in revenue last year. Now I have 500,000 in revenue. Well, it's 500% growth. Wow, congratulations. But when you go from, 40 million in revenue to 70 million in revenue, that's a big jump. So those types of things, you know, to consistently do that over and over again, year after year, Caliper has been very, very fortunate to, to do that. And um, I commend all the other entrepreneurs who are gonna be honored on the ink list this year, because whether it's your first time or your seventh time, I know how hard uh, you guys are all working. Now, Chris, I know how hard you work. And I've, you know, I've seen your, your new facility, a large facility. There's many offices there. And when everybody goes home and you're still there and you're the only one there and you're sitting at your desk and all the other lights are off, except in your office, what are you thinking about? Are you here right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, most of the time these days, I'm thinking about my daughter and my wife <laughs> uh, because they're probably home waiting for me. That's, that, that, that's the truth. Um, but um you know, when I walk into the building or when I walk out of the building, I always feel a strong sense of pride for a couple of reasons. One is I truly do think we've created something special for investors where we give them access to the to different types of investments than they would normally be able to get to on their own. And we give them access to investments they actually understand and feel good about. So they can be part of a community of investors where they're not only growing their wealth and they're getting a financial return, they're also getting other returns along the way. And then I, I get to, you know, walk by the offices of different, you know, all of our different people and everybody here has a story. You know, there are people here who had it easy in life. There are people here who had it hard in life and they're all here building this business with me. So I'm just grateful that they show up every day and they work hard every day and, and I get to be a part of their journey. As we're coming down to the end of our interview, one thing that's on everybody's mind now is what do I do? Yeah. Maybe I have 
$100 that I want to do something with, maybe I have multi, multi millions of dollars. I just sold a company, just inherited, and so on. What do I do? Well, the great thing about America is you have so many options. The bad thing about America is you have so many options, right? And so, you know, from my chair, okay, if you, if you're looking at, oh, I just sold my business or I've had this big financial event in my life. Well, there's an amazing program that was created by the federal government a couple of years ago called the Opportunity Zone Program. And it gives you a tax break. It allows you to avoid paying capital gains taxes by taking the gain from that big financial windfall that you had and reinvesting it back into American communities, into American real estate and small business. And so to the extent that you have that big financial windfall, that's one of the things that we do. We offer an Opportunity Zone Fund. I highly recommend you do that because not only are you taking your gain from the prior great economy we just had, you're now using it to buy real estate and businesses at a discount because it's post COVID. Now things are starting to get cheaper again. So you can potentially buy some good projects at a discount. And then as you hold it through the next cycle, you're going to have a nice upside to your, to your investment and hopefully avoid paying some taxes along the way. So on one end of the spectrum, that's the that's 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 the best advice I can offer you. On the other end of the perspective uh, spectrum, if you have a hundred bucks and you're trying to get started, I would invest in yourself. Um, if you have two thousand bucks, I'd buy our stock. Um, but um, you know, if you got a hundred bucks, I'd invest in yourself because at the end of the day, periods of disruption, which we're in right now, we're in a time when people's lives are turned upside down, and you can't empathize with that more than anyone because. You know, my wife's a nurse. I see it every day with her and what she goes through with her patients and what she's dealing with on the front lines of this. We see it with our hotel workers. We see it across the board. People's lives are being turned upside down. But when they do, new opportunity is created. And if you can take a moment, accept the fact that we're in the place that we're in and that there's nothing that any one of us as an individual person can do to change that. And you start looking for opportunity like a good entrepreneur, you will find it. And when you do, invest in that opportunity, invest in yourself, and and go build that net worth that you can then come invest with us. Wise words. Well, Chris, you and Caliber continue to build and find alternative ways for investors to create wealth. That's a hero. Chris Waffler, co-founder, CEO, chairman of Caliber Wealth Development Company. Make sure you go to CaliberPublicOffering.com. This has been David Kogan with the Alliance of Hero Show. Thank you.